Welcome back to another episode of Body More Bottles with your host, Bonzarelli, aka Micro Brew McIntyre, aka West Coast IPA Gun. So today we're gonna do a little theme show. You'll notice it once we start running through everything. A lot of breweries have been doing a lot of cool, interesting things with their beers. You know, they've been uh tampering with the ingredients, the flavor profile, adding different things in while they brewing it to make it taste different. And it's summertime, so let's start off with these summer episodes, get y'all right for the summer. A lot of people have been asking about uh what's a good beer to start off with too, so this might I'm gonna do that episode later, but this might fall into that category. Give you something that's a little it's a beer, but it's a little different than what you might be used to. It might be a little bit more palatable for you. So, we're going to come here to lollygag. Let's get straight into these body bags. The first thing we got today. Dream Sickle Orange Cream Hard Apple Cider. This comes from Red Shedman. We already did a Red Shedman uh, review before. If you don't remember... That apple pie and ice cream hard apple cider came from Red Shedman. This also comes from Red Shedman. Hard apple cider from Mount Airy, Maryland. 5% alcohol by volume, 12 ounce cans. You can see what it's supposed to taste like. We already know that they don't play around. They say something's going to taste like from experience. It's usually going to taste like it. So let's see if this tastes like orange dream circle. See that normal apple cider coloring, a little bit light, very translucent. Not much bubbles, but let's get the nose. I'm smelling that apple cider. A little bit of the orange in there. But the hard apple cider smells coming through more. It's time for the taste test. Cheers. You get the apple cider up front, but on that bite at the end, that uh, orange cream sickle popsicle really shines through. Yeah, it's just apple cider up front. The orange flavoring is very light. But once you finish it, that aftertaste that you get, the bite on the end is very reminiscent of that orange cream sickle. Not too much of the cream. I mean, you get the, the ice cream flavoring and the vanilla a little bit, but the orange overpowers that, but you still get a little bit of it just so you know that it's supposed to be that orange dream circle. It's not quite as good as that uh, apple pie and ice cream one, but it's still solid. It's very refreshing, very crisp. Hot summer day. I knock a few back. I give this a 3.7 on the body more bottle scale. Next up, we got here, Popsicle from Raw Brewing, Raw, R-A-R, -A -R, brewed in Cambridge, Maryland, IPA with lactose, one pint, 6.4% alcohol, alcohol by volume. Not too much else to say about that. This is also supposed to be reminiscent of that orange dream sickle that might cool you off on many a summer day. We can see there a little bit 
darker, less translucent, a little reminiscent of a hazy IPA. Nice carbonation there. Let's go for the nose. Excuse me, straight up orange on the nose. Some of those hops coming through. Uh, it's not so much like an orange juice. It's like when you slice orange open, you squeeze a little bit, you know. That's the orange flavor I'm smelling here. I guess it is orange juice, but it's not like a you pour orange juice. Mm, I don't know what I'm talking about here. Let's go for the taste and see what come through on that. Getting the hops. Uh, very creamy. A little bit of the citrus, the orange, the uh, the bite, for, like the uh, the tartness of citrus. Probably they brewed it with citra hops. That's my guess here. Uh, kind of like just eating the orange. Not really that orange cream sickle that is advertised as. Still a good beer. I drink it as much. But it's not what it's advertised as. So I got to take points off for that. I'm going to give it a 3.3 .3 out of 5 on the body more bottle scale. Up next, Cream Sickle IPA Indian Pale Ale brewed with flag toast and orange from Epic Brewing. Denver, Colorado, 8.5% alcohol by volume. I like that. <laughs> Orange, you glad I didn't say milkshake, but I did. A lot of the breweries are making milkshake IPAs and different things of that nature. They're a little bit more creamy frothy like you looks like a milkshake when you pour it i guess that's why they have that on there but this is just a straight ipa as you can see there a little bit more clear but still that same coloring a little less hazy let's get a nose Yeah, more orange coming through. It says here that it's brewed with oranges, so those oranges are definitely shining through. It does kind of smell like orange juice, like a little bit of vanilla in there. Let's get the taste. orange is coming through maybe like the orange zest from the pill the hops IPA flavoring heavy on the orange on the back end again not too much of the creaminess the vanilla on the flavoring to make it taste like that actual orange dream set, you know, it's just tastes like an orange IPA. Good beer, but again, not quite what they advertise it as. They would just advertise it as orange IPA, Sunshine State IPA, something like that, along those lines, you know. 
they may have a little higher score, but got knocked off some points for that one. Orange comes through a lot more in that one than the one from Raw. So I'm going to give them a 3.4. Lastly, but not leastly, from Full Tilt Brewery. <clears throat> Excuse me, here in Baltimore, Maryland. Dan's Jams, Man Bun Joe. Orange creamsicle, turpentine, and fused sour. Brewed with clementine terps, oranges, vanilla, and vitamin B12. Only 4.5% alcohol by value. But, it's gotta, if you've ever been to Full Tilt Brewery down on York Road, that's Joe the bartender in there, the beer tender, whatever you want to call him. Shout out to Joe. I uh, link him up in there. Y'all can go give him a follow. As you can see here, look at the packaging on this one. I mean, you see the little oranges and the cream sickles in the back, but it's got little Easter eggs in there, you know. My man trying to snip his man bun off. Got his little papers over there. Towely. On the side, you know what that's about. Shout out to Joe. Let's get a support. As you've seen, these other ones, they had that orange tint to it. I don't got a black right here, but this one actually glows in the dark. Oh, that's not in papers. That's his phone. <laughs> but if you look closely, it says the time is 420, so I ain't too far off. You see that? This is actually green. Look at the combination on that. It's held up for a while. Green. This is a sour. It's not an IPA or like the other, like the previous two. Green sour. There. Let's get the nose. If you got a black light, it actually goes in the dark. Getting the vanilla coming through. Like a sour candy, kind of. Like the smell when you open up a bag of, uh, like sour gummy worms or trolleys or something with all the little sugar. Yeah, that's what this smell like. And you get that, that orange smell, but like, clementines, like it said on the, on the, uh, on the can, the little small, the cuties, that's what it smells like. Let's go for the taste. Cheers. Way more of the orange cream sickle flavor than the previous two. Let's see if it how how it compares to the first one. A neck and neck. Kobe. Our doors are sour. It's got that bite at the end. That hot apple cider has that same bite at the end, but that's got more of an apple flavor into it. This is more clementines, vanilla, and sour. If they made like a sour gummy orange dream sickle candy, that would be what this tastes like. Good beer. If you like sours, I recommend you go. If you probably can't find that anymore, but if you go to Full Tilt or if you see Full Tilt in the stores, any of them Dan, Dan's Jams is 
good sours. Uh, I'm going to have to give this man Bon Jo a good... Four point one. I think that's a fair score. Is because it's definitely better than the two IPAs. A little bit better than that uh, apple cider, just because the apple cider has the hot apple cider has that apple flavor to it, <laughs> and it kind of overpowers. It definitely overpowers the orange on the sip, but you get the orange on the back end and the aftertaste. That you get the orange on the nose, you get it on the taste and the aftertaste. So, and it's only 4.5%. So, you can have a couple of them. They continue to come in four packs. You can have a whole four pack and be ready to continue with your day, you know? Continue and going into something a little bit harder for the night, rest of the day. So, we conclude another episode of Body More Bottles. Your host, Von Zarelli, here to tell y'all, be safe but stay dangerous. Don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. And don't forget, folks, most importantly, body them bottles. Peace. <laughs>